All right. Recently, I had to use VLC to play a to play a video file, right? And um, usually, I keep it on, you know, my machine just to play, you know, certain video files. But usually, I've been using a, a UM player, right? That's pretty much my my uh, player of choice at the moment. But um, anyways, VLC, I noticed it was out of sync. You know, audio and video wasn't wasn't really matching up. So I've been looking on the forums and I found a couple workarounds, and one worked a little bit. Um, I believe it was switching to Asa, right? But as soon as you rewind or fast forward or pause or whatever, it, it breaks it and it goes back to being out of sync again. So I found another fix that actually worked on my laptop, my secondary machine, which is this one, and also worked on my desktop. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But if you if you actually have been tinkering around with this, um, open up VLC and reset it back to defaults, right? Go to, uh, I think it's uh, Tools, Preferences, and right here, reset the Reset Preferences, I guess. Okay. All right. Now it's already set. Now we're gonna go ahead and edit the uh, pulse audio file, I believe. Copy this. Open up the terminal. All right. Now we gotta find a little line. So let's go ahead and uh, find this right here. Copy. Go to search. Find paste and find all right where are you at okay so you don't have to replace the line you can just add this little in section right here right this little section right there copy that put it right here hit the space bar paste there we go and uh, save it now you have to like restart pulse audio or basically kill it right Copy that and paste that into your terminal. And I can't do that right now because I'm, I'm uh, screencasting. If I do that, you're, you can't be you, you know, you won't be able to hear me. So after you do that, go ahead and play your audio or video file, or I mean, I'm sorry, your audio and video file, your movie file, or whatever it is you're trying to play. And it should be in sync, hopefully. Um, like I said, this worked on all my machines. Hopefully, this will work for yours. I'll put a link in the description to the to the form thread that I found this fix on this workaround, I guess. And um, if you happen to update VLC, you may need to do this again. And I did install uh, Ubuntu 11.10 on this same machine right here, and this problem was still there. So hopefully they they'll have some kind of workaround for that or the or fix. Hopefully. So, anyways, um, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.